guys, today we are going to take what we know about slope and we're going to use it to graph a line. In the last lesson, I told you that you're going to hate your teachers when you find out that there are much easier ways to do what we've been doing and we just haven't showed you. Okay, so we're going to learn today how to graph a line using the slope and the y-intercept. But first of all, take a minute, review slope and do this warm up and make sure you get this concept down. All right, there are your answers. Again, if you didn't get them, make sure that you see if you can figure out what's wrong, and if not, you see me in class tomorrow. Okay, what are you gonna learn today? You're gonna learn how to graph a line if we're given the slope and we're given the y-intercept. So how we're given that is in the form of an equation. The slope-intercept form of the equation is y equals mx plus b. Okay, where m is my slope and b is my y-intercept or the place where the graph crosses the x-axis. So we have this line over here, y equals 3x plus 1. Okay, with that line, y equals 3x plus 1, our slope is 3 and our y-intercept, which is b, is going to be either 1 or or the point zero one. Same thing, just different ways to write it. All right, so we have the graph of this line and I want you to notice if I were to make a slope triangle here, it's going to be one, two, three, and then one. Okay, so the slope is three over one and that's right here. And then the y-intercept, the place where it crosses the x-axis, or y-axis, is right here at 0, 1. And that's where it comes into that equation there. So that is how we can just use an equation to graph a line. Okay. So let's talk just a little bit more. Okay. So again, we have slope-intercept y equals mx plus b. M represents the slope and B equals the y-intercept. So in this case here, I've got a slope of 2 or 2 over 1. Because this is subtraction, I've got a y-intercept of negative 4. So I have a slope of 2 or, like I said, 2 over 1 and a y-intercept of negative 4 or the point 0, negative 4. Okay, let's look at another example y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 10. Slope is the coefficient in front of the x. There's my slope. My y-intercept is the constant, okay, or the number without a variable. So in this case, again, my slope is negative 3 fourths. My y-intercept, sometimes we say is 10, or we say it's the point 0, 10. Okay. Now, how can we use this to graph a line? Well, we can put the equation into slope-intercept form, or in this case, solve for y. We're not going to have to do any of that in tonight's homework. Tomorrow, we're going to learn how to transform. We already know how to transform. We're just going to put it together. All right, so we're finding the slope. We find the y-intercept. We graph the y-intercept, and then we graph more points using slope. Probably doesn't mean anything to you, so let's look at an example. Okay. I have this equation, y equals negative 2x plus 3. My slope is in front of the x, or it's that coefficient, so it's negative 2. I'm actually going to write it as a fraction, negative 2 over 1. And then my y-intercept is 3, or the point 0, 3. Okay. So the point 0, 3 is going to be right here and I've graphed it and now I want to graph more points using that slope. So we said our slope is negative 2 over 1. So if it's negative 2 over 1, the first thing I do is I want to make sure that it's going in this direction. Okay. So if I go down 2, so I'm just going to kind of go down 2 and then I'm going to go to the right 1. So notice I've gone in a negative direction here and a positive direction here. 
positive 1. If I go down 2 again, and over 1, I can graph another point. Down 2, over 1, I've got another point. Now, if I go from my starting point, and I go up 1, so up 1, and over 2, I've gone positive 2 and negative 1. So you want to make sure that if it's a negative slope, we're going in the negative direction at least once. I'm trying really hard here to connect my dots because that's the last thing I want to do. And do a nice straight line. I should say a semi-straight line. That's supposed to be straight. It's kind of hard to do when you have a mouse, but it works. So there is my graph, y equals negative 2x plus 3. Notice that I've connected the dots and extended the line in both directions. If you do not have that arrow, I would mark it wrong because it would be a line segment, not a line. Now here's the thing. Anything that falls on that line is a solution to this equation. So it means that that ordered pair would work. So if I pick, say, this point right here, and I know that point is 3, negative 3, what I mean by saying it works is if I could put it into the equation, y equals two thir negative 2 thirds, or negative 2, uh, times 3, plus 3, I'm going to want our y value to be negative 3. So negative 3 equals negative 6 plus 3, and negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3, so it works. Any point that lies on that line is going to give you a true statement. It's important that you understand that anything on the line is a solution. Let's look at our next example. My slope is in front of the x, so it's 2 thirds. Okay. My y-intercept is negative 1, or the point 0, negative 1. So I'm going to go to 0, negative 1, and I'm going to graph the point using my slope. Notice my slope is positive this time, so I'm always going to go, if I can, in the positive direction. So that means that I go up 2 and over 3. Boom. I went up 2 over 3. If I go up 2 again and over 3 here, I can't go up any further, so let's go down in the negative direction, but if I go down 2, that means I'm going to go negative 3. So I go in the direction here. I have a point here. And then I can just connect. If I go down negative 2 and back negative 3 again, I can just maybe <laughs> quite a bit off on that one. It's hard to draw a straight line with this mouse. Let's erase that and see if I can do any better. All right, let's try it again. Let's just try this part of it a little bit better. And let's go with this part of it. I'm a little bit off. All right, I wish I had a line on the right program that I could do that for you guys. But there's my graph of that line. Hey, let's look at another example. Lots of examples today. In front of the x is negative one fourth, and the y intercept is negative four, or zero, negative four. So I'm going to start by graphing the y intercept of negative four. I'm going to go down 1 in the negative direction to the right 4, which is in the positive direction, and plot a point. Down 1 over 4. And remember, since my slope is negative, my line should be going in this direction. If I go up 1, I've got to go back in the negative direction 4. Up 1, back 4. And when you're doing your work, I want you to graph several points. So you get the idea. Oh, that's a lot better, isn't it? All right. So there is the graph 
of that line. So I'm always starting on the y-axis someplace and then using the slope to go in the either direction. Right. Now we have these two special graphs. This is y equals 4. There's no x. So what that means is all of my y values are going to be 4. So if I put a point here, this is 0, 4. If I put a point here, that's 3, 4. 5, 4. I can go over here, negative 2, 4. So all my y values are the same, so this graph's a horizontal line. So you can do it any better. Horizontal line going through y equals 4. With x equal to negative 3, it's going to be the same thing. All along here, all of my x values are negative 3. No matter what the point is here, on this line, my x values are going to be negative 3. Now, this is something my algebra students in the past have seemed to struggle with. So, I think I stole this from someone. I know I did. Vux Hoy, I always say that's the battle cry of Miss Craig's wild and wonderful math world. Okay, so Vux, to help you remember, V is a vertical line. It has an undefined slope, which makes sense. And our equation is x equals whatever the constant is, or whatever x values stay the same. Hoy, Vux Hoy, Hoy is a horizontal line. Zero slope, and y equals the constant is the equation for that line. So if I've got my coordinate system and then a horizontal line, if this was, say, mm, 0, negative 2, then the equation of the line would be y equals negative 2. So you'll get a lot of practice with that. It's kind of something you have to study. Or if you can just make better sense with all my y values are negative 2 or, or all my x values or something, that also would help. All right, so what did we learn today? Hopefully we learned how to graph a line using a slope and y-intercept. And believe me, I've got lots of practice lined up for you in class tomorrow. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in class.